I don't think I'm gonna make it. Thus, I died. Welcome back, everyone. This is Shadow Drake, and let's just pretend that never happened. <laughs> uh, okay, so what ended up happening is I did a goof, and I locked myself into a death loop. Uh, there's a reason why you should always have a respawn kit on Station Here's difficulty. So we'll just pretend that I did not have a workplace accident and didn't die permanently. And let's just uh <laughs> Let's just get this right here. Alright, so what happened was I was mining. <laughs> of course, that's what kills me. I was mining, and so I dug straight up, trying to dig out, you know, like I normally do. You know, the, you wouldn't think, nothing too big, stuff that I've always done. Well, I dug a little too fast. Next thing I know, damage my suit. Alright, let's exit this. Oh boy. Temperature critical. Oxygen low. That's bad. Low pressure. Oxygen critical. I think I'm gonna die. Temperature low. Realized I don't have duct tape, especially the Mark II duct tape. Which I am going to print some out now. Also didn't have the respawn pad. So when I respawn, I spawn basically where I couldn't fix myself. And uh, yeah, it led to a never ending loop because I didn't have anything set up for emergency healing supplies. So. Yeah. So you can only go so far without workplace safeties. So let's fix that mistake. Because I was able to get inside the base, but if I had a cryo tube literally right here or something, just anywhere that I could just jump in and get healed up. I would have been okay because I could get in just fine but not when I was dying just hmm. you learn from your mistakes this is why in the Vulcan video I actually uh yeah I always got I got that up because Vulcan would it kills you faster just because you don't really yeah, you just can't work recover from it. If you're spawn outside, eat some very hot volatiles and pollutants and CO2, you literally have no oxygen. You just burn. Oh. So yeah. That happened. So yeah, let's uh, go back to what we were going to do. First, I'm going to build a cryo tube. Honestly, probably just going to stick you like right. There's my respawn chamber. I'm going to eventually expand out that area, but I need, I need, I need uh, something right nearby. 
case that happens again. I got too much junk over here in this little space. Okay, you know what? What do I need to fix you up? Plastic sheets, got that. Now what? Screwdriver and a glass sheet. Okay. Emergency deaths require you fix your mistakes. There. So, anything happens again, I will at least be able to, if for some reason this doesn't work, because sometimes they don't work, you have to check in on it every time you restart. If for some reason that didn't take on the new load, I'll at least spawn inside. I still have suits and the capability of making more suits. And unfortunately, I have to redo that mining. Let's go back to the site of where I had my accident. Somewhere back here. And so, like I was saying, I, I need to basically, uh... Ugh, well, actually, I can't say so I was saying because I died on that run. <laughs> so to sum up what I was talking about, the best way that I can, now let's get this nickel. I need a lot of gold. And a lot of silicon. And probably a lot of copper and iron. I need to get the Sterling engine set up. But while I was discussing before I had my accident. Workplace accident. Uh, was that I need... Well, I want to get the Sterling set up. But at the same point, am I limiting myself to that? Like, if I... Like, I could just start centrifuging. Let the waste gases build up. Maybe even just put an insulated tank just to store them. And if I do that, then I can just forego the fact that I was trying to desperately get that sterling set up. Because the, the thing with setting up the sterlings is that I need to... Uh, I need to get some large station batteries to, to store their power at. Then after that, I would need to come up with logic for how to, you know, discharge that power to my existing battery cells so that they can charge my uh, large station battery power bank. keep them topped off because as as we've seen uh, they're not fully the four that I have is not capable of handling my production like I'm using all of them to some degree and that's not bad per se because I kind of intended it that way I didn't want to build a lot of a huge row of them store a bunch of wind power and then just basically call it a day, you know. I wanted to to have alternate sources because what if when you know what if when breaks? I mean perish the thought, but what if it does break? Let's get the silicon. And so to build a large station batteries, I need to have plenty of copper, plenty of gold, plenty of uh, 
materials, and I still need silicon because I still gotta pipe a whole ton of stuff. And that actually gets to the point where I might actually be building so fast that I'm not cycling or making enough money to keep buying steel alloys. Like, am I actually gonna have to smelt some? But that comes with the point that I have 300, uh, whatchamacallit, it? I have 300 stacks of 50 dirty ore that are just sitting there waiting to be centrifuged. If I go on ahead and start working that, you know, even in, you know, 10% of that worked out, you know, that's 300 ores of various types. You know, what if that gives me the, the copper, the iron, the coal, and the gold to start working with some stuff? So that I no longer really, so that I can stop going out and mining for this, just to work on this stuff. And I will have excess, because, you know, out of that 3,000, you know, let's say half of that is iron. Do I really need 1,500 iron? Probably not. Like, when I'm working on the shoot system, I'll probably smell a ton of it, just because, you know, shoots need a lot of iron. It's three iron per shoot. So some of it will be used for myself, but I can easily sell 600 iron. I mean, they're like one space buck, but that's 600 space bucks. Money that I'm just passively generating. I need to get that copper. See, now I'm being a little bit more careful because I was digging at an angle like this. But if you dig too fast, you somehow squeeze yourself through and crush yourself <laughs> That's what happened. You never really saw that in Vulcan much because I, I tried not to dig too far down, because then I'll I could potentially get myself stuck in uh. Actually, I take lava baths more more often. I'm more concerned about taking lava baths, but. Any, basically every, every other planet is, is kind of a concern. And Venus just straight up slams you into the ground with when the air has to equalize. Grabbing this coal to sell. Might as well get some money. The gold, the iron, and the copper I am going to smelt for myself. So I'm not really going to get a lot of money. And quite honestly... I think it was a 3x3 three three alloy trader, so I can't even really, you know, I'm just stockpiling this lead just to sell to him. Let's see what I got. I got roughly four and a half stacks of gold. I think that'll do for now. For now. I have almost four stacks of iron. Might as well make it a full four stacks. Because I will need to split it probably half and half. Give some of that to, uh... Yeah, just give some of that to the Atmo printer. Okay. Plenty of silicon, plenty of that. So yeah, let's just, well, let's get some of this nickel down here. I can sell that nickel. Oh, one thing I didn't get is volatiles. I need to, I need to still be filling up the fuel tank. But let's, we'll do a fuel, I guess, of, you know, a backpack of fuel related stuff later. I got a jetpack. Okay. Let's find out how to get a hole. That way.
The thing is, I have the advanced furnace. I can just smell all my stuff in there and then expel the gases and save the pollutants and some CO2. I'm going to go on ahead and smelt that now because I don't have much space. Well, I filled up my space pretty heavily. Silicon says it's needs the most temp. Gases. Gonna need copper a lot, so. Alright, so Additionally, the thing I need to do is start putting lights because <laughs> it was kind of hard to find the base at night some copper and mostly iron. All right, so let's uh Let's just give you 100. I'll give you most of this. Silicon, you have 147, you have 195, 
you need the silicon up completely because you you have to do more with it. You have quite a bit of iron, honestly. I don't think you'll need iron. You have plenty of gold, so you get all the gold. Alright. With that in mind, let's go sell stuff. And I'll leave you alone for the time being. a lot of money to get out of this guy. So just cycle him. But I think that's what I need to do. Just once I get these parts, I need to build some IC chips. I have a housing. I'll just go on ahead and start programming the centrifuge because it just needs to be done. So, gas generator. Who makes you? The electronics printer. That's a lot of iron. I'll need two of you. What was I doing? Oh yeah, IC tents. That's OC. IC tents. need some electrum. I probably shouldn't have sent him away just yet. Oh, good. I got an electrum. Two, please. While I'm waiting, who's available? Asteroid appliances. Nope. Kind of curious what they offer. Oh, right. I need some powered shoots. Alright. Well, those are being made. I'm just gonna go check on this guy. Because I need some flour. No, you just sell batteries and stuff. Arc welder with a small battery. I can make this. Let's do that. I have a small battery charging right there, so I'll just make an arc welder. You know, if I had some solder, which I do, in here somewhere. Sixty-two steel. You got a lot. All right, where's my cardboard box? There was a cardboard box that I made a while back.
I see it. Now, if I remember right, it was ten pipes. It's ten pipes, fifteen frame. Let's just go check with them. So it was plastic sheets. I think it was plastic sheets, steel sheets, frames, and pipes. Ten frames, sheets, sheets, coil. Yeah, fifteen coils. All right. Ten, twenty, twenty. Got it. Ten frames. Twenty. Fifteen. Should take care of that. 450 bucks. Might as well make a little bit of money. I've been spending it like crazy, and plus I still need to buy more alloys and ingots. Alright. Because I do need to build a... Uh... Another... You said void vegetables, but are you really selling vegetables? Like, are you selling plants, or are you selling... Okay, got my three. Got my powered shoots, and I think that's all that I'll need for now. I think Nebulin Nucleus is a uh, alloy trader. And if it is, great, because I need some money and alloys. I need to get some Electrum, because my electronics printer needs Electrum, because I need to build three large batteries. You sell food. Good. Let's buy your flour. Let's buy a little bit of soil oil as well. Go home. I can make more muffins. This is actually very interesting that I can survive off of, like, literally the, that guy. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm happy getting that flower. Didn't I buy two things of flour? I did. There it is. Oh boy. I'll pick that up on my way back. Dude. This is so much easier than growing your own wheat. I really hope that that's, an a, that that's an alloy trader, because I really do need them. And I still don't recognize the names. I like the fact that there's names, but it really does confuse me who is who. Oh, perfect. Got some stuff to sell. Alright. 
buy more steel. Gotta buy all that electrum. Buy a little bit more solder just in case. A little bit of those too. Alright, so. What else can I sell you? Nothing else? That's fine. Let's go ahead and put that Electrum into my Electronic Sprinter. I saw it. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's go. Let's go program those GFGs. Now, I do already have a logic for them, but I need to review it and kind of modify their turn off sequence. That's that's the thing that needs to be modified. Probably should have printed out some shoots as well, but uh, hindsight. You should be empty. Alright, so the thing is, flip-flop splitter, okay, I need to use the one that has the cable at the bottom, like this, so. That's all I needed, to be honest. Alright. Now. Housing needs to be... Uh, let's stick you right here, because I need you in a place where I can... Where you can be easily accessible. I should have brought more cable coils. So, I'm missing, I'm missing one, okay, first things first, programming the GFGs, now I have one for NOS and Volatiles, but I need to redo some of this because the Expel is something that it needs to be redone. So it's going to automatically do this thing, but when it gets to expel this one How did I do that? My NOS one is much better. See, the thing is, I haven't quite mixed the two together really well. Okay, you know what? I'll have to rewrite it a little bit. I'll put a version 2 
All right, so we're gonna do another load. 12, 11, 10, what, what have I not used? I need to load. Okay, alias error R13. Load error DB. I don't need a display. Error? Do these things have an error? I thought they did. Combustion centrifuge. I'm pretty sure they got an error state now. Yep, it's an error state. The error will error out only when the, th the reagents hit 3,000. I don't know what my wife is doing in her stream, but it's kind of funny. So, load error. EQZ, error, go to end. It's going to go ahead and set those to zero. It's going to stress a little bit, but... comment that out for now. Now. The reagents are not. This is actually where I want them. I presume that with an outside controller shuts this down. Did, I still need to keep it up. But once... Now the Regents is not going to be BLT. I presume that there might be some that could get stuck in there just a little bit. So once it's less than 10, it should go. And hit this to zero. Just in case it's not. But I can also tell the uh, the script to set those to, to zero, just in case. After it opens it, it sets them to zero. But this will be a just in case. Then it'll go back to zero, which will then do the whole ramp up thing. Okay. Hold on. I had a display. But I didn't use it anymore. Weird. Okay. Alright. Never mind. That's probably being used at 14. Yep. Right there. <laughs> Darn, I forgot about that startup. It's gonna air out. I forgot that it needs a uh so SDB. What did I do for the NOS fuel? I did something for the startup because the startup was weird. So I made another mode for startup where I just hit the hit the throttle to twenty. Because that's usually what it took for it to start. If 
fit. Come on now. I'm gonna need it to air out and ramp down. But I made changes. Sounds so bad. I'm still gonna go to jump start. Just in case. So jump start. I need to SDB open zero, SDB throttle twenty, and well, hold on. SDB combustion limiter zero, and I want it to be BLT stress less than two. Three, go to end. Otherwise, move mode five, J, end. I need that because. When they did the changes, the combustion centrifuge kind of just. did a strange thing. Where they don't start up as easily anymore. Yeah, 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 you're upset. Alright, so I need to rename these. This is the Ball Nos flip flop. This is uh 1 2 flip flop. And you are also a 1 2 flip flop. So, the idea is I'm going to be pulling all four of these. And it's going to be watching them for stress and also watching for regions. If, for example, this, as it's watching it, normal operation error is still zero, this one runs out of reagents. And it's been out for like, what, a second or two? It knows that I need to push some reagents in there. So it's going to set the flip-flop here for volatiles, set this flip-flop to two, and send it on this way. Give it probably one, two, or three, and then close it. Yeah, and then close it, and then go back to monitoring it. If it still has nothing, it'll try it. It'll try it again. But probably it'll be a normal state at that point. All right, are you almost free yet? You got nothing in there. So that's the hope. That's what I hope is going to do. But I got to completely figure out how to program these flip-flops because I... I haven't really worked with them much. Also, I think I shouldn't. I shouldn't have put them that high. Yeah, I shouldn't have put them that high. Let's put the one twos down one more. Is it wrench? Yeah. One two flip flop. One two flip flop. That at least allows me to. Okay. I messed that up probably.
Thing is, I gotta figure out the operation of these things first. That's not right. I did something wrong. I did BLT. BGT. No. This is the problem right here. What did I change that? Because it just jumped it to 30 without really going anywhere. So, what did I do with the NOS combustion centrifuge? Did I change that to BGT? I removed it entirely. See, I worked on the NOS one a lot, so I'm more familiar with how that one's doing. So, I don't need this over here. But I did something to affect the rest. So if I'm in ramp, I'm at startup. I have a sleep mode before it moves to mode one. That's just not right. The not the I know the volatile one is absolutely the worst way. It's looking at RPM. So, if it's not... Because this is a problem. So, if the stress is Okay, so if the stress is not zero, I don't want to do jump start. And if the stress is not less than 10, I don't want to do the ramp-ups. Because it's going to have to do ramp-up, 
gonna sleep a while, swap it to mode one, and it's gonna need to. That should hopefully be enough to get this stress up, so that it goes up and then comes down. And then once it comes down enough, it'll just allow this to go to the next step. Let's give that a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, got a chunk in here again. Come on. your junk out. I really want to test the flip-flops and stuff, but I want to have a good working code. Where's my laptop? What are you doing in there? Stay in my... I can't trust you anymore. Trying to run away? Should have gone to ten. Dread. Uh, let's see. What did I do wrong? Jump start. This is probably what did it. Whiny sounding. That's probably what did it right there. It's so whiny sounding. <laughs> How much are you at? 340. Ooh, I really gotta get you all going. But I need to see this ramp up successfully first. What? Nope, 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 nope. Drat. actually kind of helps. I need to, I needed something to kind of just throw in there. Oh, there's my other one. Do I have shoots? Not on me. All right, so I do need to figure out this setting because I think I got to decrease the ratio to both zero zero so that they stay in place and got to look at what the mode is so that I can know one is that way, two is that way. All right, come on. No. Did I not even do the thing right? Export it. The 
stress is less than three, it should move mode five. If the mode is five, it should go to startup. Startup is the first thing, the is ten and twenty. Sleep. Sleep is also the same thing as telling it to do the thing, so why didn't you do that? Did I not export you? So frustrating. I forgot I have two of them. Okay. Where am I going wrong with this? Mode zero. Jump start. This. This is the problem right here. Gah. Because if there's stress, it's just skipping. It's not. It's not doing the mode. Ugh. There. That's what it should have been doing. Start processing something. Oh boy. Shouldn't have done that. Hey, you got a silver. Okay. Just screw up and get yourself way up there. That less stress less than ten should have pushed you to the end. It shouldn't have done ramp up. I mean, yeah, it would have gone mode one for ramp up, but it shouldn't have. It should have done this. Oh, I said less than. All right. stress out too. Hey, you got an iron. Oh good, it caught itself. I'll keep you off. No, 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 no! Get back left up! Was not expecting that storm. Now I can't program. Well, that storm kit keeps me from programming.
think that looks good. I don't think it's going to stress out, so let's go hydrate. <sighs> Gotta wait out the storm. Oh, I'm not still printing out shoots while I'm waiting. Only these for the time being. My goodness, work is really calling on me right now. Get three, just in case. Oh, perfect! I got three large batteries. Drink water. Now the question is, do I have an insulated tank somewhere? I thought I made an extra one. I guess I didn't. I have over one kilogram of flour in here. <laughs> Lots of eggs. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Oh, what I'm going to need to redo is I need to rewire the data connections for all of this. So like this data, this data, this data, I need to, all of this data I have to completely redo. What I mean is, if I'm going to have a vending machine way out there, I need to run a data cable all the way over there to my trader so that I can use it to, for example, fill up the uh, vending machine. Where are you? And so when I fill up the vending machine from stuff that gets exported, I'll be able to, you know, deal with that. I could just load it up with some ores. You know, called when this guy gets called down, I'll just say, "Hey, I need stuff," and you know, he'll do that for me. Okay. Can I fix this? So for my Where are you? I'm just gonna head overwrite that and save. I'm not really too happy about this. I need a BEQ mode six pre fault. See all str 
for us. Now, I'm just complicating this more than I should. I do need to trust that it'll be at zero stress by the time it's done with. Which reminds me, I need to grab the configuration chip. That's so much junk. You know what? I don't need all of these liquid pipes and pipes. for this. It doesn't tell me when it's going to end, it just tells me there's a storm. Lame. I really need to make the uh, pipe analyzer for this. So this is so that I can just do something like this. Oh, wait, who are you? I can do something like this and see how it functions, how it flip-flops. So if I do that, yeah, see? Does flip-flopping. All right, so first things first chip in there. Let's clear you. Flip, flop, splitter, right. I need you. So. Uh, centrifuge monitor station. So need to define flip-flop rights and just do that. Define um, ball nos flip-flop rights. Ash. Look, I completely forgot their name already. Define uh, one, two, flip-flop right. Ash. I think that was one, two, flip-flop right. No, that's just 12 FF. And you are Bald Nos FF. Okay. Let's do a main and yield J main. Alright, so. to make sure that it all works. So let's do SB FFR on one. SBN FFR. Let's do VN FFR uh, output zero. 
Do they have an output? They have a setting and a setting output. Okay, what is your setting? Setting output one, setting is one. What about you? Setting zero, okay. So it's setting output. Okay. So it's actually setting. SBN FFR 112FF R. Setting output zero. Because you got nothing in there. Okay, they're all turned on. That's what I want to see. So that's zero, zero. You should be right here. That's zero, zero. And I should throw you in there. Does not. Perfect. So that's. That matches up to what I heard. So I just need to do. SB and I just SB FFR lock one. They have a lock, right? They don't have a lock. Okay. So SBN FFR. B and FFR uh, mode zero at SBN FFR twelve FFR mode one. Okay. So mode one is this, right? Yeah. All right, so mode one equals one, mode zero equal two, mode one equals No, mode one equals NOS, okay. Mode one equals NOS. So mode one equals one mode zero. Okay, got that. Okay. Now for the time being, alias centrifuge D zero. This is ball one, ball two. Ah. NOS 1, NOS 2, 2. Are you done with that already? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna 
hit Vol 1 and Vol 2 for the time being. It... So let's just call you Vol 1 alias Vol 2. Let's get rid of you. It's really weird. Let's just do SBN, VN, FFR, mode, oh, FFR, VN, FFR, mode, zero, SBN, FFR, 12, FFR, mode, zero. Well, that's a problem. Alright. That's fine. I can just fix it. doing that. Clearly I got something wrong in my logic. Alright. What mode are you in? You're in mode 1. Oh, mode 1 is volatiles. I knew I got something backwards. Mode 1 equals volatiles. Oh, cancel. Why, though? Yeah, move on this volatiles. Okay. See, that's what I was concerned about. High pressure. So now I need to come up with the logic. That's where 
the thinking comes in. Uh, actually, thirty or silo. Actually, need thirty ores. LSD zero is the silo. All right, so here's what I need to s check. This will just s silo on one. S silo open zero. Right. What is that modes? Silo. Okay, so open. Let's do open one. Ye yield. Yes. Silo open zero. I want to make sure that that works how I expect it to. Perfect works just like I expected it to. All right. Gotta drink water soon too. Quantity. Okay. So let's start aliasing a few things. Let's alias the. Silo quantity as R15. Let's alias the be an F set. As R13, let's alias the 1, 2, F set as R4, R14, because I will need that. Let's alias the combustion. Is CFG a good... Let's just call it CC. Let's let's do. Oh come on, the combustion centrifuge reagents. Is it actually a reagent? So it's got two hundred eight reagents. I need to find that forty. Centrifuge. This is something to do with the slots. So reagents is how much is in there. So I need shoot input. Oh boy. Oh, come on. He didn't want to dust that. CC 
occupied. Let's do that as R11 alias CC error R12. All right. So first things first, let's load the silo S quantity silo silo there we go and i think that was the quantity number quantity because i'm gonna need that this vnf set is gonna be peaked I'm gonna do define combustion centrifuge there all right there's a function for load slot is it ls Load slot. Yep. Load slot to CCO CC, and that is D one zero and occupied. SDB setting CCO CC. I know the easier one is going to be load cc error, error, d1, error. I know that's going to be easy. for you to process that so if you're at zero if your occupied slot hits zero I wish the 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 this thing could tell me what the slot ID was because it's like I can't change that anymore It takes one, seven, two, seven, wait, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly eight ticks. So that's what, four seconds to process one dirty ore? That's still increasing. But thankfully, this is going to be handling some of that. But look at that 100 iron, 30, 13 gold, 38 copper. That's money. All right, so you're currently at one, but once that. Okay, are you a zero? Perfect. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. Let's just, uh, beat it again. Take a quick meal break. See who else is available. Waste tank cautioned. My waste tank is cautioned. Oh boy. Oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, 
This time for sure. Not gonna forget about you. I'm just going to Anti-critical. Do that. Recover some of my hygiene. Eat my muffin. I'm gonna go go ahead and bring out an insulated tank. Cause I think I'm gonna go on ahead and just I think I'm just gonna apply an insulated tank, to be honest. Cause I think if I just apply an insulated tank I won't have to worry about pressure until I get the sterlings up. Didn't forget this time. Guys. I forgot something Low pressure. important. Oxygen critical. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Low pressure. Oxygen low. <laughs> pressure critical. Oh. Critical. Cognition low. <coughs> <laughs> Where is my helmet? See? That's already paid off dividends. Look, I healed all of my injuries that <laughs> just sustained that short time period. <laughs> oh. I killed myself. Quite literally. All right. So here's the thing I gotta do. I need to also alias CC mode R10. Okay. So. Let's try to think. Let's say... So mode zero is... It was... It was turned on after MT. Let's say mode... One equals normal operation. Mode two equals empty slot check. Mode three equals filling empty slot. Mode four equals full need to dump. Mode five equals something. But let's go with that. I think I need another thing. 
CC mode R R9, and I think I need CCH R10. CC reage D one reagents. I need to see something. I need to see if that is reading this one's. This has got one reagent, so. I'm going to need another reagents, because once the reagents hits less than 10, I can go on ahead and tell it to turn on. So this is just going to set D1 on 1. Move mode to 1J end. Okay. BEQZ. Uh, CC mode. Mode, yep. And this is uh, this is turn on. CC mode. Let's put a J and so that I don't accidentally screw that up. BEQ one. CC mode one, and this is going to be normal. SD one. I might have to add stuff for throttle to zero, you know, for example, or SD1 open zero, just to make sure that it does not just eject. And just for simplicity's sake, we're just going to move CC mode one, because it's already a normal operation. So normal operation. Let's just say select no okay and then here I need a skip so. First things first. Let's see if it's empty. If BEQZ uh, CC AUK not so if it's not zero then we go just skip if it is we move cc mode two now j end now the reason i have two is because you know let's just say i read it when there was supposed to be something in there and it hasn't quite caught up to the fact that it is still there that's why i have another i'm gonna have another check if that check still hits zero, then I'll go to the next mode. Ah, give me a sec, my dogs want out. Okay, I'm back. Where was I? Okay, 
The reason I want to do... Oh, no. I hit cancel, didn't I? Ah! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. B E Q C C C mode. Go to turn on. This is turn on. And what I'm going to do is set D1 on to 1 as D1 open back to 0. Uh, set mode move CC mode 1 J end. Perfect. B E Q C mode 1 haha <laughs> normal then i said normal and skip well error check let's just call it error check and for here we want uh b n e z c c awk if it's not equal to, then you go to error check. If it is, move CC mode to 2. J end. Now, the reason I want to do that is because, once again, the error check will be to check the error. B, B, N, E, Z, CC error. We'll just go to end. End. Otherwise, move CC mode to 4, J, end. Got it. Now, save it for now because I don't want to redo that typing. So now, what I got here is with the error check. If it's not occupied, I wanted to check for an empty slot. And the thing is, I want to move CC mode 1 to go back to normal. And if BQ <coughs> occupied, we'll go to end. However, if it is not, it will move CC mode to 3, which means it needs to it needs to be filled. So if it needs to be filled, this is where things can get a little tricky. This is where I think... This is where we have SBNs, FFR, BN, FFR, mode, one, SBN, FFR, one, two, FFR, mode, zero, if I remember right. Well, I need to do B and F set and one two F set. B and F sets. Oh come on, what did I call you? B and F sets. I was right. And then one two F set. So over here. So we do reagents occupied. Can I do an LNS? No. An LBS? Ooh. Okay, that's going to be complicated. to do D1 for the time being. I know I renamed the hash right there, but zero occupied. Let's try to keep my stuff in order. So it's 
mode reagent uh, peak mode. <laughs> so mode the quantity I can do at any point. So let's just do this right here. Mode reagent, mode reagent occupied error. Move FF, uh, BNF set, move one, two, F set. Now for two, it is one for volatiles, and zero for the second position. Now, one thing I gotta do is if if uh squantity is zero, we just go to end. There's no point in doing this because what I want to do is if it's not, then we s silo silo open to one and we sleep 1.5 that should be roughly three and then s silo open zero move cc mode back to one I'm hoping that it it'll take it won't take too long to get back to that. So SDB CC mode. Oh, setting CC mode. don't need to be here. So what are you called? Uh, uh, empty? Check. CC mode three. Bill. JN, just in case. BQ CC mode or uh air empty. Error empty. Let's put a J in here and a J in. The something is way too clear. And this is error clear. There we go. I'll get those. This should do both the filling and the checking. And just, you know, like the printer stuff, I have to push the values in here and do all the stack register and stuff. And I still have plenty of space. Well, let's see. Move mode. CC mode zero. 
to, to initialize this. Oh, you have four. You should be at four. It's a good thing I didn't program that because it just jumped onto four. went to four. I hit CC mode four, right? Setting CC mode. So you are at four. What put you at four? Oh. Wait, that still should have done that, though. Hmm. <laughs> See if that is actually. Yeah, it's triggering that logic. Why is it triggering that logic? Oh, because it needs to be EQZ. Duh. Because if it's zero, then it go to end. But if it's not, then it needs to do that. Okay. There, now it's a normal state. How much do you have in here? All right, let's just uh, get some shoots put in place. I can't believe I made just enough shoots for this. Well, I'm at it. Do 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 do. Uh, mm. I feel this this thing. Three megs. That's not a lot. I guess I'll just put this above. Where do I want to stick this at? You know what? I want to stick it over my GFGs and stuff, so gotta wait for that. agents do I have now? Three hundred and ninety six, okay. Yeah, it briefly jumped to two. Okay, perfect. I was hearing pipes creaking. Okay. Well, I forgot that I need to fix up the uh, 
another set of pipes. Right here. Am I gonna hurt myself again? There we go. That's fixed up. I don't know that that one and a half second sleep is enough. It should hit mode 2, then it should hit mode 3. That should open for about 3 seconds to let 3 or 4 out. The reason I want to let 3 or 4 out is because I want to give those plenty of time to, you know, give it plenty of time because those are just going to go chugging through it when they're fully up. Ugh. Like they chug through it quickly. But also, I wonder if one and a half seconds is enough because it'll still be cycling through all of them, checking them constantly. And so if that's the case, then, you know, if it's checking them constantly, then there should be some lag time after that as it keeps checking others. And what if it has to fill another one? Then it'll have to do the thing, fill it and then go back and check, and by then it should have registered. And if not, worst case, I'll... Two, three, one, two... Well... I may have to expand the chutes a little bit so that they, there's a little bit more space. Because the worst thing is that I get... I get them so full that they, uh stop up the flow. Alright, that worked nicely. Alright, let's get the air checked. So, when it airs out, the first thing that needs to do is set I forgot to check to see about how many it is. It threw out. I think it threw out three exactly. Oh no, it looks like it threw out two. You know what? Two seconds. So, first thing that it does when it errors is it needs to set the CC. Uh. set D1 on to 0. Move CC mode to 5. QCC mode 5. Clear weight. Air keyboard. Air clear. Got it. I'll put a yield in here because I do need it to yield. Set D1, open, 1, yield again. Start up by 
let's check the header zero. That way it sets it sets it to sets it to one, sets it sets its stuff to it opens, sets it to zero, and then at error clear. Open zero. B E B L T B G T C C Reagent. Yeah, reach. That's over ten. Go to end. Otherwise, close it. CC mode to zero. Done. And then it should come right back up. Now the thing about this though is that now that I'm confident in the What I am going to do, I'm going to get some more shoots, shoot this up to this, and I am just going to go on ahead and f fake it out, make it think that it's aired out, test it out and see, because if it does that just fine and then brings it up to full start, If I can bring it up to a full start from my fake error, then it should it should logically be a good working code. So let's do shoots. Let's do two of them. While we wait. Adventure, Stellar Stone Supply, Nebulae Nucleus. Interstellar Icicles. Someone tells me it's like they really don't want to give me any of those. to just bring the heavy cable out there though the trading heavy cable I got plenty of heavy cables some heavy cables for myself. So, I mean, I do have a building right there. Alright. Go down here. 
not as much as I thought, but better. Didn't forget my helmet this time, did I? Still can't believe I literally went outside without my helmet. Alright. Where is my cable? Right there. I know I'm going to eventually have to redo this because I'm using heavy cable, but... Uh... Whoa, that uranium came back. Didn't I chuck it out a long time ago? You know what? I'm just going to let you cycle because, I mean, really, the only reason I kept you is because you have heavy cables. Probably like that's very rude of you. Okay, okay, this is gonna be weird. Why? Why did you error? no sense. You shouldn't have done that. Well, to prevent that from happening again. Got here in time. I, I, I gotta, I gotta figure out what happened there. All right. Just literally wiring to this spot. Next thing I know, you just aired out and did something weird. What happened? Mode one. Okay. I have to go back and debug that, because that should not have happened at all. forget did I forget an end or something it should have uh, filled it so ah J end that's what did it Alright, so, who likes platforming games? 
That's about, that's probably what I'm about to start quote playing right now. Overshot. Oh, no, that is the wrong cable. The good news is it seems like that worked out really well. Come on. Low gravity, man. Should be back to zero, back to processing stuff. Really, I need one more shoot. figures. Two hundred iron to sell. That's amazing. Look at all this stuff. Even sell some lead, some silver, some copal. Uh, this is beautiful. This, I think, is almost beautiful. To very heavily limit the fact that I don't need to sell as much anymore. Oh, I think that's a big win. been at this for a while, so I think this is actually probably a good stopping point for this. And I use nearly as much heavy cables as I thought I was going to use, but that's okay. What are space banners?
I'm, re I'm really curious what they are. So I think where I am at right now, that will heavily, heavily reduce the amount of mining I do. Like, I'm not going to get such a huge turnout. But, especially because it's not NOS, it, it still takes a while to process 3,000 regions. If I do the math, let's see, 3,000 times roughly 8 seconds, 24,000 seconds, 400 minutes. That's still quite a long time. get lost. <laughs> what I need to do is get the stack thing going. I need to get the I need to push the stack register and start changing it up for working with the stack. And I need one more set of shoots. So I've been at this a while. I'm actually pretty hungry. I gotta get off to eat. But I'll actually probably end up mining only for, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Too many. I'll probably end up going off to go mining some more. Can I... St Wow, I can hear that from all the way over here. One thing I probably need to do is thinking about it. So I did the force empty, air empty, but I told it to open. Maybe I need to tell it to Let's see if it'll f screw up again like it did last time. Or maybe I don't need to worry about it because, I mean, it'll dump, but it should. Do I need to wind it down a for the and wait for the RPM to hit less than 60? That's another thing. Hmm. Lots of troublesome stuff. I might need to also do something on the air checking code. For the centrifuges. There we go. Yeah. I need to get both of these working together. Because I can definitely start using this to smelt some stuff for myself. Okay, let's call it that. Let's call it here. Next time, we are going to finish setting them up with the stack pointer so that I can control both of them. Uh, I'll have it in the prep work to control all four of them.
and then I'll start setting up my uh, combustion centrifuges because not combustion centrifuges my uh, Sterling engines because I need I need to get that going too so that I can get a little bit of extra power and do a little bit something with the exhaust so that it doesn't just build up and explode because it's going to build up and explode if I don't deal with it soon but yeah there'll be that and uh, hopefully much less, much, much more ch less. Yeah, definitely going to be a lot less uh, mining involved now, except for possibly fuels and ISIS. But we will figure that out later with rockets. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Thank you and goodbye.